Hello again. Welcome to your latest Met Office weather update. It's a pretty cloudy and soggy picture out there for many of us. That's because we've had a frontal system pushing its way in from the west, bringing some persistent heavy rain, particularly across western parts of England and Wales. That is now pushing its way eastwards. And so as we head into the afternoon, that rain's going to be heaviest across eastern parts of England, particularly East Anglia and the southeast. Some heavy bursts likely elsewhere. There will be some drier interludes, but also quite a few outbreaks of rain and there won't be a huge amount of sunshine, often pretty cloudy. Even any brightness will be pretty limited for many of us. That being said, it is going to be mild. We're dragging in some mild air from the southwest. So temperatures are a good few degrees above average for the time of year in the southwest. We could be looking at highs of around 14 Celsius, a few degrees lower than this further north. And all the time we do need to factor in that the winds are going to be strengthening, so it may feel colder than these temperatures suggest. Staying cloudy with a few outbreaks of rain as we go through this evening. Across much of central, southern and eastern England and parts of Wales, it's going to be mostly dry overnight, but the thick cloud could be thick enough for a few spots of drizzly rain. Across Scotland and Northern Ireland, here we are going to have a band of heavy and at times persistent rain pushing its way in, and that rain is then going to reach into parts of Northern England and North Wales as we head towards dawn on Wednesday morning. It is going to be a mild night though, temperatures not dropping a huge amount. In fact, across much of England and Wales, many towns and cities holding up in double figures. These overnight minimum temperatures are closer to what we'd expect for our daytime highs at this time of year. Something a little bit fresher towards the northwest behind this frontal system, but temperatures even here not dropping particularly low. That's partly because it is going to be windy, those winds strengthening as we go through the evening and overnight, particularly across western parts. This front then does start to edge a little bit further southwards as we go through Wednesday, but but it really doesn't make quick progress. It kind of lingers and stalls across northern England and much of Wales. So a pretty soggy, wet day here. Further outbreaks of rain could be a little bit heavy at times. To the south of the front, though, here across central southern England and southern parts of Wales, a mostly dry day, still pretty cloudy, though I think we will see some brightness breaking out, particularly towards the northeast of any higher ground because we still have this southwesterly wind. And in any brightness, it's not going to feel too bad. It is going to be windy, but in the shelter from the wind, in any brightness, we're looking at temperatures reaching highs around 15, possibly 16 Celsius. So it may even feel a little warm at times. But this front really does mark the boundary between the very mild air across southern parts of the UK and something a little bit fresher across parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland. So temperatures lower here, though there is a greater chance of seeing some sunny skies, but we do need to watch out for the strong winds. There's a deep air of low pressure to the north of the UK and that brings the risk of gales, possibly even severe gales in the most exposed spots towards the far northwest of Scotland. And we're also likely to see some showers developing too. This front then pushes its way a little bit further northwards as we go through Wednesday evening, bringing some rain into parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland. More wet weather then pushes its way through as we go through Thursday, heaviest towards the northwest. Friday's looking like a showery day for many of us. There may be something dry and brighter in between those showers before a brief ridge of high pressure develops as we go into Saturday. So we may start Saturday largely dry, but that dry weather won't last particularly long before more wet weather then feeds in from the west and so it is going to turn wetter as we go into deeper parts of the weekend. We will obviously keep you up to date as we go through the next few days. Otherwise, I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.